We want to know how the brain works during perception and behaviors. Zebrafish larva can recognize the paramecium at five days post fertilization. The fish finds the paramecium, approaches the paramecium, and catches it. We aim to visualize the brain activity during perception of a paramecium. In order to make this possible, we developed tools and methods in the model vertebrate zebrafish. One important tool is G-CAMP. G-CAMP was invented by Dr. Nakai and Dr. Okura at Saitama University in 2001. G-CAMP contains M13, GFP, and calmodulin sequences. When calcium ion binds to the calmodulin sequence, conformational change occurs, and GFP fluorescence increases. Because calcium influx occurs when a neuron is activated, we can use G-CAMP to detect neuronal activity. Further, in this study, we developed a new G-CAMP, which is more sensitive than the old G-CAMP. Another important technique is the GALFO US system. GALFO binds to US and activates transcription of a gene placed downstream of US. In my lab, we are doing gene trap screens and generated more than 1,000 transgenic fish lines that express GALFO in different tissues. Each tank has a different line. Animals, including humans and fish, have common features in the brain structure. One of such features is the visual topic map. What it means is that neurons in the brain are spatially organized so that the visual world is mapped on a part of the brain. This is a well-established notion, but no one has ever demonstrated this in real time in a natural condition. In this study, we wanted to visualize this using our new G-CAMP in prey capture behavior. In fish, the optic tectum is the center for visual information processing. So first, we looked at our database and chose one GAL4 line in which GAL4 was expressed in the optic tectum. On the other hand, we generated UAS GCAMP 7A transgenic fish. By mating that GAL4 fish with US GCAMP 7A fish, we expressed GCAMP 7A in the optic tectum of the larvae. The experiment is straightforward. We let the paramecium swim around the larva and do calcium imaging using fluorescent microscope. Here's what you see in the recording. Changes in fluorescence intensity is shown in pseudo colors. Colors on the eyeballs are artifacts due to the image processing, caused by eye movements. Neuronal signals are observed in the optic tectum. We could also record from a free swimming larva which captured a paramecium. We visually demonstrated that the paramecium was represented on the visual topic map as predictable by anatomical studies. And activation in the anterior part of the optic tectum was correlated with the occurrence of the pre-capture behavior. In this study, we imaged neuronal activity in the initial step of prey capture. Using this method that we have developed, now we are trying to visualize the neuronal activity that underlies cognitive process.